John Olsen is now regarded by most Australian art lovers as the greatest living artist in the country. He's been active since the 1950s. He, his first exhibition held in 1955. He was born in 1928 in Newcastle and at the age of seven his family moved to Sydney. He lived in Bondi and it was at that time that he first came into contact with the ocean. That's uh, how he sees it himself and the water and all matters aquatic were very dear to his heart from a very early age. And of course, if you think about Olsen's work, much of the work we know of his over a career lasting more than 60 years um, has to do with water, has to do with aquatic matters, including, of course, the fabulous amphibious animals, the frogs, which we all love, and beaches and seaports and oceans. The painting in our auction, Lot 35, is Olsen's Childhood by the Sea Popping Blue Bottles. Now, this is an activity which uh, many of us might remember or be associated with. If you go to the beach and see those little nasty little uh, jellyfish, uh, there's a lot of pleasure to be got from popping them, just stepping on them. And this is something that John Olson might remember from his own childhood and casting back over the intervening years. He's now in his 80s. Um, this is a painting he produced uh, only uh, six years ago in 2010, but it relates to his childhood, it relates to his early days. And like all of Olsen's paintings, his paintings from the earliest period, from the late 50s, it embodies his own very clearly stated and defined notions about how a painting should depict uh, an overall or complete experience. It should be able to report on an experience in such intensity and depth that we can all uh, enjoy it with him, we can all share it with the artist. And that's what he's done here. When you look at this painting, you immediately understand exactly what's going on and you can almost smell the ocean. The painting vibrates with this kind of glittering oceanic um, shimmer and, and it has that sinuous line which Olsen made his own and which commu communicates so much to us about himself, about his life and about the way he approached his art. Mm -hmm.